Hello everyone, Lisa is uh, ready to make some supper and she's got a few things on the go here that you might want to check in on. Here okay. we go. I have put about four tablespoons of olive oil in the bottom of this pan. I'm putting it on medium. I also am going to salt my water. We're going to have chicken marinara, um, my style of chicken marinara. So we're going to use Aunt Lib spaghetti sauce. I have four chicken breasts that are humongous. Lord, the steroids this chicken has been fed. Ain't no chicken going to be that big. Not naturally. We're going to use it though anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put out two sheets of wax paper. Because I want to pound these down a little bit and thin them out. So I'm just going to lay them face down. No, ma'am. And this is going to be literally a 30 minute meal because we're going to put a salad with it and some rosemary cheddar tea biscuits and call it a dinner. Get my hands a wash so I handle my rolling pan. And what I'm going to do is just pound these out. Watch out, Cookie Monster. What I want to do is season this chicken. I'm going to go in with some salt and pepper. The good old everyday spice box. That's right. A little salt, a little pepper. And then I'm going to come back with just a little bit of Italian season. Let me find that in the spice cabinet. Do, 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 do. Just an Italian seasoning. Okay, and I'm just gonna douse them with this. And then I'm gonna pan fry these just like they are in that olive oil. And then I'm gonna pour the marinara over it after the chicken gets almost completely done. And then I'm gonna cover it, let it simmer for about 20 minutes, and then I'm gonna add cheese to the top. I'm also gonna boil some angel hair pasta and put that, I actually think it's thin spaghetti, but any pasta will do. You can put this over pasta, you can put it over rice. You can hear the sizzle. Last one. We've got Debbie and Mary and Angela Hello. and Hello. Lee and Phyllis. Welcome to my kitchen. All watching tonight as we get our supper ready. Okay, do that. That'll take, usually it takes about 10 minutes on both sides. I've got it on medium, so it'll cook pretty quickly. And we can chat while we're waiting on some supper. And Janet and I are enjoying a glass of wine with our meal prep. Hodgeville, Kentucky. Oh, Hodgenville, Kentucky is in the house. Hello, hello, welcome to my kitchen. I'm gonna put this water on high as well. Question, do the peanut butter bars freeze well? They do. You cannot go wrong with those peanut butter bars. They freeze beautifully. I'm gonna do a little bit more. Middletown, here. Connecticut. Jackie's here. Hey, Jackie. What y'all having for supper tonight? Bad weather here in Star, South Carolina. 
Yeah, I think we're expecting some bad weather. We've got a tornado. Did you say it was a watch or a warning, Janet? I don't remember. Janet, I need to show you where to go for safety in this house, I reckon. Just to be safe. Anyway, and the other thing I can tell y'all about is baby boy is at football camp. So this would be a perfect baby boy meal because he would love this. Uh, Dutch oven. Someone's asking about your Dutch oven there in the background mm -hmm. where that's from. What I brand? Amazon. Amazon. Do you know what brand it is? It, or? Is, uh, it says Am Amazon Basics. Amazon Basics. Oh, Champagne, Illinois. Hello from Champagne, Illinois. Jen and I will grab these tongs. And let me check that. We here. were happy that we got to talk with uh, Susan Dosher today, and uh, everything's all lined up for the 11th and 12th in Seagrove and Ashboro for the tea and pottery days on August 11th, 12th, we'll be taking Friday, home. Saturday. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. You notice I'm saying we? We, because my wonderful travel agent, yes. Debbie, changed my plane ticket. Cheers to that. Dan. To stay longer. So that's a great thing. Look, check out this wine glass that these wine glasses that Lisa has decorated. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> go Deeks. Farming. Go Deeks. There we go. I'm having grilled chicken from Wayland, Michigan, mm -hmm. and we have Kay watching us. Hello, Kay. Jim, uh, Kim Johnson. Hi, Kim Johnson. Darlene Sparks is watching. I only want to turn these on, so I'm going to let those cook on. Cook on. Cook on. Cook on. Stay safe all, says Leslie. Tammy West is here, Jennifer Shelton, and she is in IN, which I think might mean Indiana, yep. Fish, Fishers, Indiana. Brother, you know, in Canada, you have to learn all the states, all their nicknames, all their capitals when you're in school, and that's a lot of memorization. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to add a little bit of garlic to this because I just like it. You garlic some is granulated good. granulated garlic over the top. Patty, Pam, Debbie, welcome aboard, Rita. Oh, Sue's here from Sacramento, California. Wow, what's up in Cali? And April says, hey, hey, hey. Hey, April. Deborah Sands is watching. And Cookie has been to her first day of, what they call it? Evaluation. She passed the test to be able to board at Stony Creek Pet Lodge, which I'm so glad. I'm gonna give these a turn because I wanna put some of the Italian seasoning on the back side of these. Cookie is such a social dog. She had made friends in the parking lot <laughs> on the way in today. I can just imagine what's gonna happen when she goes to school in a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. I was very pleased. She, they, they said she played well with others and she had two friends named Mia and Corgi, I think that she really, you know, played with them a lot. So she should sleep really well. Cook, come see the viewers. Hello, my pumpkin. Yes, we're gonna learn not to jump when you go to school too. Yeah, we are. Yes, we are, girl. But I, you're my sweet girl. I hear a lot of good things about those um, dog training schools. Yes. Sets them up for safety. Well, the and biggest thing for me, Janet, is this. I wanna be able to be out in the yard or in the garden and give a hand signal and yes. her understand that it's time to come to me for safety reasons. Yes. And right now she's young. She's um, She was a year old in April. It's a great time to get her into something like that. And although it's going to cost us a little bit in the long run, we'll save money on vet bills and injuries because of disobedience. So they're going to teach her with hand signals and voice commands. Yes, they are. And see, I'm so smart. I'm so smart. Can you, hey, can you sit for me? Hmm? Do you want me to get you a treat? Let's, let's get you a treat. Let's show the viewers how smart you are. You want a treat? You want a carrot? Look at the tail going. Up, down. Wait. Sit, sit. Wait. Wait. Good girl. Oh, she loves carrots. 
Love them. And you know what? Speaking of carrots, you can throw any veggies in this if you want to, too, and saute them with the chicken. And then put them into your mix of this spaghetti um, marinara chicken. You know what, Janet? I'm going to grab one more out of the pantry. Because I don't know that that'll be quite enough to get your guest. We want it to be fabulous. Fabulous. You're hearing that? It is. She said the recipe is probably 80 years old. Yes. The marinara sauce. So we're getting pretty close here because I want it to simmer and let that finish the cooking process for the chicken with the marinara in there so that it marries up. So I'm going to turn the heat down to low. So I've just kind of seared them, to be honest with you. This was enough of the sauce that was left over. So I'm going to just douse it with the sauce. And we're going to put it over spaghetti, so we'll want some extra sauce. Let me pop the open this thing, thingamajig. I can these Aunt Lib spaghetti sauce. Where is my can over? There it is. So we're going to pop this seal and give it a sniff. What do you think, Jan? Mmm, smells delicious. We're going to put that over. And that is what I want it to look like. Now I'm going to put a lid on it. And for you guys that are watching, we'll post pictures in the comments when this is all done. Once this simmers for about 20 minutes on low, the chicken will be done, the marinara will be baked into there, and then what I'll do is I'll come back, uncover, put some cheese over the top. You can use any cheese you like. We're gonna probably have, I don't know, I'll have to look in the refrigerator as to what we've got, but I've got some Parmesan, probably some cheddar. Um, but you could use mozzarella, you could use fresh basil over this, lots of options with this, and then we're gonna put ours over pasta. And I think, Janet, we're gonna saute some peppers and put yours over pepper, yeah? Maybe. Yeah, awesome. So, cooking, cutting up, keeping it real. Thanks for always watching. We'll post pictures. I hope y'all have a wonderful dinner time, and we will see you as soon as we can get back to you. Bye now. Bye.